Hey guys, Andrew here with Elephant Racing, and today we're going to be showing you how to install Elephant Racing 930 ERX brake system on a this 1974 Porsche 911. Available for 65 through 89 Porsche 911s. We're offering 930 ERX four piston calipers, front and rear rotors, brake lines, brake pads, fluid, and master cylinder as a customizable package or sold individually, giving you the modern stopping power for your car. This car is equipped with floating front rotors, so we'll begin by placing the hardware into the hat assembly, then flipping it over to attach the rotor. Next, add the remaining locking nuts into place and snug the rotor into the floating hat. This is done easiest against the edge of the table as you need access to both sides of the rotor. Finally, torque the floating hat assembly into place. We use a paint pen to mark our progress. Next, place the rotor and floating hat over the 911 hub. Add the required hardware and snug into place. Once again, the edge of the table works great. Next, flip over the hub and rotor and torque the bolts into place. Now it's time to mount the rotor and hub to the strut spindle. Be sure to follow the service manual for your car. The rear rotor is a simple replacement. Be sure to adjust the parking brake to the new rotor and simply slide the rotor over the rear hub and tighten into place with the screws. Front caliper, there is some specific hardware placement to follow. On the outside of the caliper, be sure to place the Schnorr washer against the bolt and on the inside, utilize the included spacer. Now line the caliper up with the hardware in its correct position and slide it over the spindle holes. Slowly pull back the bolts and be sure not to drop the inside spacer. Once everything is secure into place, go ahead and hand tighten the caliper bolts. Now with the caliper torqued, apply a thin coat of anti-seize to the outside of the metal portion of both brake pads before sliding into place and locking down the retaining spring. Now to be safe, make sure there are no clearance issues. We place a piece of masking tape over the side of the caliper and mount the front wheel, spinning slowly and checking for any friction. On cars with the aluminum trailing arms, you'll need to modify the trailing arm a bit in order for the rear calipers to mount correctly. Now follow the same procedure for the rear and your calipers are mounted. We're going to begin the installation process by installing the larger 22.5mm master cylinder. This is a non-boosted car, so the master cylinder is mounted beneath the chassis. For boosted cars, it's mounted in the front of the car. We'll start modifying the original hard lines by cutting them to size and flaring the ends for secure connection to the new soft lines. With the flare tool, we'll find the appropriate diameter hole to fit the brake line into, and then snug it up. Then insert the flare portion and tighten it until the flare is created. Now remove the flare tool and be sure to clean up the edges with a file. Next, we'll test fit the master cylinder and get a visual idea of how we'll need to modify the hoses for proper routing. You can see here, we're taking the original hard line and reshaping it by carefully hand bending the line to fit the new master cylinder. Be sure to take extra precautions and not kink or obstruct the line. Just a little bit of pressure throughout can give you a clean, smooth bend in the line. Now, we're adding the new soft lines that will attach directly to the master cylinder. We'll simply just slip these over the flared ends we modified and secure the connection tightly with a pinch clamp. Now torque the master cylinder into place and connect all the lines being sure to make a tight connection to avoid any leaks. Finally, make sure to adjust the brake pedal push rod against the master cylinder, and you're set. Your master cylinder is installed. 
With the kit, you'll receive new front and rear hard brake lines to replace the factory lines. We'll show you how to bend the lines for the proper routing throughout the calipers. For the front, we'll begin with a 10 inch line. In this case, we already have one bent, so we're just matching it to the other side. Front isn't too intricate of a bend, so do it gently by hand, making sure not to kink the line. Then, go ahead and mount the line into place, making any tweaks to the line as necessary. For the rear, since it's more intricate of a bend, we'll begin by using a piece of wire to get the general shape of the routing and then we'll transfer it to the new lines. Be sure to protect your lines during the bending by covering them with a piece of masking tape. Now we'll mount one side of the line into the OEM caliper to give us a stiff surface to bend against so we don't damage the flare. Compare the wire to the straight brake line and start marking for bending. We use simple hand tools when needed being sure to counter them against the line to avoid any kinks. And we use a line bender to get some of the larger, cleaner bends. Be sure to remove the tape for installation and go ahead and mount the lines to the rotor and soft line. Tweak the line by hand along the way if necessary. With everything mounted into place, go ahead and fill and bleed the brake system, just like normal. And that's it. Installation of your new Elephant Racing 930 ERX brake system is complete.